How we doing? Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials. Another request. Um, this one is a little bit different to how I normally do requests. Um, in regards to it's not an exact copy again. I did one earlier on in the month where I got as close as I could and I showed the chap and he was happy with it. Same for this. Um, the reason being, this is the uh, is the bloke's Ryan Howard. The uh, sound he wanted me to make is an Envoy synth from this track called URR. I've had a lot of requests for this sort of sound in the past and I found it extremely difficult to make. And this is the closest I've ever got. It's not exactly the same. I've added more sort of twist to it, but it's sort of a bandpassy sort of uh, sound. Anyway, this is what we've got. <laughs> You can hear the band pass sort of whipping up and down uh, doing the modulation. Um, Anna is the only synth I've found for some reason that I could get close enough to it. The main reason is because it has this G envelope, a multi-stage envelope. Um, it looks like a bit of a weird shape and I'm doing a very, very, very tiny amount of pitch modulation with this envelope. But it does make a difference. As I say, it's not an exact copy of the original, but I'll call it um, an Envoy style synth or something like that. But yeah, I'll put the link in the description anyway so you can compare it. And uh, this patch is also available to download for free. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize this. Oscillator 1 was a saw wave. I just gave it one voice. I didn't pitch it down in a fin. No detune, no detune shape because we're only using one voice. Well, it's loud. Oscillator 1, I've just done that on Oscillator 2, so I'll quickly do it on Oscillator 1, one voice, no detune, volume, width, I pushed around a bit, Oscillator 2, I changed to a triangle, this one I gave 5 voices, I pitched it down an octave, I wanted a hollow uh, section to the sound to be a bit lower than the others. For that reason, I chose a, so a triangle. I unchecked the read trigger on both. Detune down. Detune shape and width. There's that many controls with this synth, it's a dream to work with. A very, very good alternative to Silent. If people are bored with Silent, I find it a bit static. This G envelope, it's a brilliant tool to use. There's a lot more mod modulation destinations as well. Um, if you have to look how many there are, shitloads. Compared to Silent's 20 or so, there's uh, almost double. Oscillator 3 was a saw wave. I gave this one voice and pitched it up an octave to take care of some of the higher harmonics in the sound. Um, volume was a little bit lower than the other two. It washed out the sound pretty quick, so I had the volume on about 20%. Um, Detune doesn't matter because it only had one voice. Width again, pretty standard. Kept the re-trigger on for oscillator free. Um, the main amp envelope was set up now. Quite a standard sort of ADSR envelope. Tiny little bit of attack. Tiny little bit of release. Decay on zero, sustain on full. Okay, this is where we get the uh, sculpt the sound. It was a two-pole bandpass filter. I tried it with a saturated and it messed the sound up a little bit too much. I was trying to gain that sort of effect. I've tried to do it with an LFO before, but uh, the filter envelope in these are very, very, very good. So I just used the standard filter envelope. So key tracking, I didn't do the filter envelope. I pushed around to roughly 70%. Good thing with the band pass is it's only sort of accentuating the frequencies that you want. If you can control it exactly right with the envelope, you can really change the sound drastically. 
So, did I do anything else in the filter section? No, we didn't use a filter tool at all. I didn't change key tracking or velocity. I didn't use any resonance. So all we need to do is set the filter envelope up. This was a very fine line, so you might have to bear with me. That's where I had it roughly. The decay on about a second. The decay. So you got to picture what this envelope's doing. The attack is pushing the filter, the bandpass filter up. The decay is bringing it back down, and the sustain level is telling it where it wants to halt. So the attack and the decay are both in play. These are both time-based effects now. So how long it's going up, how long it's coming back down to the sustain level. So you can drastically change it by moving this decay around. Once we've set the attack up, the attack is giving us that pretty quick whip. So you see what different effects you can get by changing that decay. Um, I'll set it on a second for now, which is what I had it roughly at. Sounding good. So yeah, what did I do now? Um, I didn't use any other oscillators. Um, I used this G envelope to do a tiny little bit of pitch modulation on all three oscillators. Um, the easiest way to do that is to target what you want it to do in the first box, oscillator one, oscillator one pitch. And then we've got two mod slots over here. We're going to tell it exactly what we want it to do, exactly the same. We want it to do the oscillator 2 pitch and oscillator 3 pitch, all of them exactly the same. So we want the G envelope, which refers to this box that we're going to set up in a minute. We want oscillator 2 pitch, G envelope, oscillator 3 pitch. And the amount I had for each one was just 1%. It's very hard to get it to sit on 1%. You have to fiddle around with it for a bit. Or as close to 1 as you can get it. 0 0.7, 1.3. I've only managed to get it on 1 once. I wonder if you can shift it. Yeah, you can. So if you hold shift, it does it in finer amounts. That's very clever. I wish I'd have knew that earlier. So yeah, 1%, you think, that's not going to affect it much, but it's pitch, so it is, believe me. And then we want to create this shape. See, it is affecting the pitch. This is just giving us a little bit of extra swoosh, if you like, in the sound. I had it like... this shame you can't save this shape I had the rate on about 0.8 hertz I don't think that um, counts for anything if it's not synced to the clock anyway so just helping give us a bit more of a sweep to the sound um, um, that's how I had the sound originally, um, but when I listened to it and played it over, I... Let's try two voices in the second source. Yeah, that's originally how I had the sound finished uh, when I'd done it to start with, but um, when I was messing around with it, I did some effects, I say, sort of gave it my own twist. It sounded really good. I really like the effects in this. The reverb in it is excellent. Um, I pulled the high pass down to zero. Uh, decay I pulled down a bit from its original position, as I did the size. and pushed the damping up and the low pass down. So if you want to do the reverb exactly, it's not needed to create the sound, but... <laughs> I felt it added something. I also compressed it. You turn them on with these blue buttons at the bottom 
and then when you click on them it brings the box in in the middle to what you want to do and the ratio on two over one or one over two whichever way you want to look at it fast tack no bass mix bass tune down gain <laughs> Oh, I went about 4%. Change you can't change these around. Yeah, it'd be neat if you could change the uh, order of these around. I'd really want the delay, then the reverb, then the compressor. I use a delay as well. Again, just to my own personal taste. If I would, was making this synth myself, I would have put a reverb and a delay on it. And these are the settings that I had. <laughs> Sound done. If you are trying to make this yourself and you wonder if it doesn't sound the same, my first note is A sharp 2 and then it goes up the scale from that. There you have it, an Envoy style synth with uh, Anna, Analog Noise Attack. Brilliant. like to get some requests in for synths that I don't use. Um, I seem to just be the Deep House Don lately. Every single request I get is Deep House basses. I don't mind it because I'm doing them a lot. I'm finding it easy to do and it's helping a lot of people out. I even had a chap send me a track back the other day that he'd finished using one of my basses and it was really, really good. Yeah, anyway, that's that done. Make sure you subscribe if you've enjoyed this or any of my other tutorials. If you do want to send me a request, make sure you send it through to my Facebook page as a message. Give me a link to the track where you want me to make the sound from. Tell me what the sound is and a time code where it comes in and I'll try and do it. Okay, thanks for watching.